5759 is going to be Cal ID sure. Nora 959 3562. 5759. One possible misdemeanor to infraction 290.01A. 959, Roger, thank you. To take an office, I became a Los Angeles Police Reserve Officer um, in my duties variety of assignments the last several years but this is my first assignment walking a footbeat in San Pedro um, to celebrate our uh, footbeat unit that's been dedicated by the Harbor Area Command. In addition we have officers from the newly formed um, Community Relationship Division. Uh, their main goal is to um, supplement our senior lead officers across the city and we have a couple officers here today. Um, walk in our streets here in, in downtown San Pedro. The new Community Relationship Division will have a total of 60 officers, uh, 40 positions already have been filled, and their main duty is to go out citywide to help supplement some of the senior lead officers' duties as well, to build relationships with businesses and residents and community-based organizations. Officers from the Community Relationship Division will be participating regularly here uh, as part of a, a footbeat detail. I just miss being around my brothers and sister officers. This feels good. She will be 17 in December. Does the Department of Children and Family Services have a case open uh, with your daughter right now? No. But they have in the past, correct? Yeah, with her and her dad, yeah. She's sleeping with an adult. Oh, he's 16 years old. DCFS won't touch us until she gets raped and killed. It's bullshit, you know. Uh, but there are community members that, you know, like Kathy Hedger, um, guys from Harbor Interfaith, that are always over here trying to get her off stage. But outside of her having a, a personal security guard to, to keep her in the house, or you know, once we leave her site, she she comes right back to the park. things on 7th Street. In comparison to how things used to be like some years ago, it's not so bad now. You know, we do have the intention on keeping this area safe and we're trying to implement different strategies uh, and one of them being a community-based uh, foot patrol in central downtown San Pedro. We see, we see more on foot patrol, um, just like if we were on bicycles. Um, because we're up close and personal and we can talk to people, you know, once we're out we get to shake hands, do hands-on stuff with, uh, with the business owners and things like that. And the requests and the, uh, con the dialogue is much more personal. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> I see that smile. <laughs> I see that smile. I talked to you this morning, remember? Uh, you need to clean up your pizza. I woke him up this morning. Your alcohol. All right. Yeah, obviously we don't want you to hang out here. You're on private property. It's what? Baby Little Lee pizza. Little Lee. We don't have one of those in town. Where'd you get your pizza from? This is on Long Beach. Somebody gave it to you. I might get the bottle. I didn't. I didn't. Somebody gave that to you? Yeah. I'm gonna get your information. What's your name, bud? Your last name is Lee? Yeah. Uh, but, but, uh, but Lucas. Lucas? Yeah, Glenn Lucas. Okay, that, that's your real name, right? Put Lucas yeah. down. Glenn Lucas. Glenn Lucas. Yeah. Are, you, are you from San Pedro? Have you been in San Pedro for a while or what? 17 years. 17 years? Well, I've never seen you before, Lucas. Where do you hang out at? Just around here. We're going to have you clean this up while we're here. Okay. Where are you going to go right now? Go, if we decide to let you go, I'm gonna go to the park. Oh, to the which park? Lincoln. Huh? Lincoln. Which park? Lincoln. Lincoln Park? Yeah. You're not from this area, are you? Yeah, not from here. There's there's many shelters around, uh, surrounding Lincoln Park and Long Beach. I know you did say that you were gonna have partnerships at least with the out, outer outlying cities. That's right. So hey, we all have our part to do. I mean, hopefully. You know, they, they provided but it'd be a, safe to say this individual came from Long Beach, knowing that he's identified Lincoln Park. He has a, 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 a pizza, he has pizza from Long Beach. Right, uh, absolutely. Yeah, it's 
back from Long Beach. Like, it goes to show that it's a, it, we need a regional strategy uh, absolutely. to help those who need the help, most help. Yeah, it's yeah. not a Long Beach problem. It's not a LA problem. It's not a Hermosa Beach problem. And we're seeing that more uh, people. We're getting a lot of people from outside the city that are ending up in uh, San Pedro and okay. throughout Harbor. And throughout Harbor area. All right. All right, Mr. Lucas. All right. All right, you take care of yourself. All right. Thank. I really appreciate you cleaning this area up. I want to. I want it. Oh, there we go. Hey. Hey, Kai. Uh, we are going to honor you today as the police chief in the city of Los Angeles. Hey. Chief Kai, congratulations. <laughs> well, what's going to be your first action? Oh. <laughs> I love you more. Oh, oh you're so cute. There, say goodbye. Bye. Bye, Kai. Love you, bud. Uh, right along. Hey. Oh. Yeah. This is exactly. Uh, we've had better days, but we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Oh, yeah. you, want, you want to go do a walk through? Yeah. You want to take a look? Yeah. Let's go. Coming back, Pedro's, Pedro's an awesome town. What's up, Junior? It makes us stronger, I think. It makes this town stronger. None like a little uh, fire to motivate you. Exactly. Uh, I, I didn't get a call or anything. At four in the morning, I was going to meet Roberto down here to jump on a job because that's how busy we were. So I get around the corner and, I, and my phone's blown up. I look at my phone and I see CrossFit. But well, wait a minute, there's flames. That's when I had to go to the hospital yesterday. Right now. But, you know. Really. This makes really it stronger. Yeah. Hang in there, brother. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. All right. Uh, beautiful reception area. The front of it was actually an Angel's Gate art gallery that I donated to them to use. So they were getting ready to come today in order to do their installation. Shit. On these walls, I had original non-replaceable Violet hey, Parkhurst, Tom have Phillips, um, hand pulled John Van Hammersfelds that are no longer being done. Now everything's done ink print. Everything that I had was hand pulled. On that wall, I had um, Saul Bass, that was given to me by my deceased father-in-law. Original, hand-pulled. Wow, hold on, that's a theater. That's the theater, exactly. That, I mean, if people are questioning how this theater was built, it's to stay in a major fire. Oh, there's no question this about is, it. I mean, look at the, the roof came down right up to where it touches the theater and did no damage, no damage. to the theater. Wow. And uh, apparently the walls were x-rayed and sustained zero damage, from what I understand. It's like a movie scene. So here's CrossFit. God. And prior to any of these tenants coming in, we remodeled this entire building. New drywall, new carpet, new everything. You guys know this this is uh, gonna turn into a drive in Starbucks? Well this drive through oh, Starbucks. Yeah. Starbucks drive through right here. Ninth and Gaffney. Like, Danny! You're walking a foot beat. What are you doing to YouTube? Just doing a little foot beat down town Pedro and uh, also Gaffney. We have the new community relationship division that are gonna be down here working on the foot beat. So, yeah, give me some more resources, you know how important it is. John started, this man started my first business watch on Gaffey when I was a senior lead officer. You and Mona stepped it up. Remember? So in preparation for the new 5611 ordinance, um, we need to do everything we can to give officers the tools necessary to address blocking of public access like you see before us here. You have unattended property, um, you have two shopping carts, a stroller, um, you know, if we don't give the officers tools to address uh, these types of issues, then all we're doing is um, creating more quality of life issues, more public safety, public health issues in our city. 
So we're looking forward to um, crafting a new policy, introducing it to council within the next week. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to be leading this effort and talking about uh, real solutions and co proposing a common sense approach to addressing these public safety, public health issues in our city. But because of ongoing litigation with the city, um, your hands are tied. Yeah, pretty much. Um, you know, we get complaints uh, from the community of why is it that we can't pick up these, uh, this property, abandoned, 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 shopping, carts. abandoned shopping carts and property, and um, it's impossible for us to do that because the property belongs to someone. Can, can you go it. through this property right now? Can, like, can you shuffle through this stuff? Mm. Do, you have, like, a, do you have like search and seizure issues here? Yeah, because it belongs to someone, so it's just not abandoned. It belongs to a, a homeless person, so we would not, whatever is visible, that's what we would actually just go through. We won't rummage through it or anything. So she wasn't we're debating aware right now in city, uh, in city council as far as how much we allow an individual to have in his or her possession. My recommendation, because I've seen other homeless that do not carry all of this, they only carry a bag, and usually is their sleeping items, then all of this, most of the time, is unnecessary. Um, if you take a look at this particular property, it looks neat compared to the other ones. Mm -hmm. The other ones have a lot of trash. You can see the trash, just uh, paper, uh, paper cups, and it's, right. it, it looks, if you look at it, it'll look like trash. This, so let's go this particular. You have an umbrella here, you have one, two, three, four brooms. Um, you have wipes, bottled water, you have signs, you have urine. Yeah, so, so this is the reason why we also will not go through it because most of this, most of the items are hazardous. What's reasonable for a person to have, uh, especially one that we know is homeless? You have a guy at, at Plaza Park who has three carts. Uh, and although we did the cleanups and the, you know they were notified and they were cleaned up, um, he went back and got three more carts. The need for this is totally unreasonable. I mean, you, you see electronics at the bottom. Uh, it's utilized possibly to, to conceal uh, stolen property and things like that. I think what's reasonable is a person that could have stuff, uh, something they could carry for hygiene, uh, bedding, you know, uh, blankets and things like that. There's absolutely no need for them to have three carts, uh, especially if they're out here in public and they're collecting, they're dumpster diving, they're going through residence, residential uh, trash bins as well as recyclables and things like that. This is trash and spoiled food and a lot of wiring and, you know, uh, a bicycle that was taken apart, obviously. And I understand back here is a big and, issue. Yeah, and so oh, here cleaned this up. is, yeah, it's been pretty clean. Um, the other foot beat officers have been out here constantly, um, pretty much clean up this area. We've arrested a few out of here that, that for sometimes, what? for uh, either trespassing or warrants. They lifted that wall higher. Um, they kept it clean. They're no longer letting them use the, the restroom. The restroom's in there because that's what kept them here as well. You can see all the all the trespassing signs are all lower. Thanks so much. Thanks for everything.